All right, guys, 20 fragrances with the longest lingering power is the topic on the channel today. Lingering power means you wake up the next day, you can still smell the fragrance on you. And I've got 20 here, all proven by me from me wearing them. And these are all fragrances that I really love to wear. I'm not putting fragrances on the list that I know have the lingering power that I don't wear. So these are definitely ones that I like to wear. So if you want to find out what those 20 fragrances that have the longest lingering power are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, today I'm talking about fragrances that linger on forever. Well, not necessarily forever, but for a long time. And a lot of these are proven that uh, if you wear them and then you wake up the next day and you can still smell them, whether on you or on your clothes, then they definitely have a really long lingering power. So I'll let you know what these are. Uh, you've probably seen most of them in some videos of mine. And then there are a few fragrances that are on the list, New Wish, that I haven't, maybe one or two I haven't spoken about, but some I have spoken about a little but all 20 awesome fragrances. But before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So how many of you like fragrances that last a long time? How many of you enjoy fragrances that have a, a big massive cloud? How many of you enjoy fragrances that leave the trails, you know, like big trails? I, I suppose a lot of these fragrances will do all of that, but, um, these definitely linger on as a smell the next day when you wake up and you can still smell it. So why don't we go ahead and start off with the very first one. First fragrance that I'm talking about today is a, a new, a brand new fragrance that I've been testing out and I'm going to do a review of very soon. This is from a house that I don't speak too much about, but uh, it's created by one of my favorite perfumers. It's created by Dominic Ropion and it's from the house of Laboratorio Olfativo and this is called the Vanna Gloria, this one right here. So I'm still learning this one. And it's called Vanna Gloria. It's kind of a word on vanilla. And it is vanillic, ambery, resinous, but also very, very smoky. It's like a nice fusion of vanilla with resinous uh, incense smoke. And he's done a really, really great job doing this fragrance and um, kind of puts this uh, house on the map of the fact that he did a fragrance for them. And it's amazing the way it smells. And I love the combination. I love vanilla to begin with, and I was so excited about this one that um, Dominic Ropion did this one for them. And then to find out it has incense, it's almost like a nice combo of both um, vanilla and incense. Uh, it makes for a great fragrance wearing experience, but it also has great, great longevity as I've been testing it out. I woke up next day several times and I can still smell the fragrance on me. So it lingers on quite a bit. And even better, if you put it on clothes, uh, it, it just smells forever and ever and ever. So I'm gonna put it to use a little more, uh, but I wanted to highlight it here today in this video, but uh, stay tuned for a review, a full review of Vanna Gloria, uh, created by Dominic Rupion for the Italian niche house of Laboratorio Olfativo. Let me know if you know this one, if you've sampled it, do you like it? Uh, do you know the perfumer Dominic Rupion? Uh, I do have another fragrance on this list created by him, but we'll get to that in a little bit. The next fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about is from the house of Zoologist Perfumes, it's B. And B has great longevity uh, for me and great lingering power. And once again, the next day I wake up, I can still smell this fragrance on me. And uh, it really does uh, linger on quite a bit. And I think it makes sense because the notes in here are the kind of notes that do linger on and last a long time. We have sweet notes here, honeyed notes in here, lots of floral notes in here as well but it's not your typical kind of white flowers or rose or something like that. They're yellow flowers. I think there's mimosa in here. There's some broom, but uh, there's um, definitely honey touches in here. You know, even, even there might be something like tuberose in here. I'm get, getting something like that, but it's a very honeyed, ambery, uh, vanillic experience, and it does linger on quite a bit. And the next day I'll wake up and I can still smell the stuff on me. You know, it's not as beastly as some of the fragrances I'm gonna talk to you about, but the lingering power is there and um, it does uh, linger on. And the only other thing I want to say about this is it's powdery fragrance. So it's powdery, but not necessarily dry. It has kind of syrupy, ambery touches for it to make it, uh, you know, this kind of um, fragrance uh, 
type or style that will linger on on me. So that's Zoologist's B. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is a fragrance house out of Turkey called Unique E Luxury, and it's Wood and Mood. I've spoken about this in various videos throughout. Uh, my channel uh, within the last couple of years. This one to me kind of reminds me of a little bit like um, a Tom Ford uh, Oud Wood kind of a fragrance, but they do Extrait de Parfum concentration, whereas Tom Ford's Eau de Parfum. But with this particular house, the Extrait de Parfum concentration is so strong and intense, you only need one spray one spray and if you do like four or five sprays of this stuff it'll be on you for so long and uh then you wake up the next day smelling this fragrance because you know when you're resting your nose you're not smelling a lot of things and as soon as you wake up and you start smelling it's like wow that's 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 lingering on quite a, a long time so this is a very very long lasting fragrance and again as i said it's kind of like that tom ford oud wood kind of styling uh where it has you know this western oud but there's a uh, there's definitely like a cardamom, uh, a cardamom uh, spiciness in there and uh, you know other woodsy touches to make for a kind of a classy oud and wood kind of a, uh, you know fragrance but uh, it's overwhelmingly strong so just go easy on the trigger is what I want to say. So Unique E-Luxury Wood and Mood is the name of that fragrance. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is Zerjoff's Accento Overdose. Uh, and this one is uh, one that has great lingering power and one fragrance that when I wake up the next day I could smell it uh, on me. And then of course if I've sprayed it all over my clothes and it's hanging or by my bed and I, I'm smelling it like really literally. That's the great thing about this because for me it doesn't act like the other fragrances I spoke to you about. There is a freshness about this fragrance and the fact that it has this freshness that it has the longevity, it's even better. Don't get me wrong, it's not like a citrus fresh or it doesn't have less like transparent touch to it. It's more deep and rich, but the wearing experience is fresh because it's a lot of green notes with fruits and uh, you know white flowers. So it doesn't have this like thickness about it. Like, no, I should I should take that back. It does have thickness about it, but not like an amber, honey, vanilla kind of a like dark woods kind of an experience. It's more bright, you know. But it has great, great longevity, and I really, really love it. And wearing it in the heat is even better with this one. So check it out. A Cento Overdose from the House of Zerjoff is a great one for uh, lingering power. This next one's from the House of Maison Francis Kirkjan. And I want to say before I talk about this one, you, if you'll notice that I won't be speaking about one house more than once. I decided to focus on uh, a house more than one fragrance because I wanted to highlight multiple brands. But this is from the House of Maison Francis Kirkjan. This is Baccarat Rouge 540, the X-ray version. Great, great lingering power. Very, very long lasting. Uh, and it clings on and doesn't disappear and you, the next day you wake up and you're smelling your shirt or even yourself and you go what's that sexy smell kind of a thing you know and that's what I like about it and again this is the fragrance I hated when I first smelled it I was like why is this fragrance so popular why does everybody love this fragrance I know why because it's so sexy and people generally gravitate towards this kind of combination of ambroxan saffron and uh, I guess this one has almonds but I guess there is an almondy touch in there but it's not like an overwhelming Almond almondy touch where it goes into gourmand direction. It's kind of a light almond thing, but it's a great scent. It's got great, great longevity and major lingering power. That's why it would be on this list. This is Maison Francis Kirkjan, Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Ray. And I want to say also, I'm not ranking this list because uh, I'm just highlighting 20 fragrances for you. The next one, can you hear? It's from the house of Montal. This is Black Oud. And Black Oud has great, great longevity, major lingering power. I wanted to feature Intense Cafe. It's not as beastly as this, this is. And what I like about this one is the combination of their oud, the rose, and the patchouli together is top-notch, major lingering power. You wake up the next day smelling those roses and patchouli and oud together, and it sm smells fantastic. There are other notes in here, but the highlight of this fragrance are those three notes. And they work wonderfully together. The patchouli, the rose, and the oud. Fantastic smell, awesome smell. And uh, I also want to say, I'll keep reminding me of things, I only wanted to feature one Oud and Rose because there's so many in my collection that have this particular combination. 
uh, but this particular one is the only one I'm featuring today because I don't want to make it a Oud Rose video if that makes sense. But either way, check it out. If you like Oud and Rose with patchouli, it's Montal's Black Oud, a great one. And speaking of roses, without Oud but spices, this is the second and last Dominic Ropion created fragrance. It's Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall. Uh, major lingering power, uh, wake up the next day smelling this fragrance on me, uh, or if you have it on your clothes, the, the smell is just left on there for days. Um, and I just love uh, that combination of uh, the notes together with the rose, the spices, the patchouli, the incense, a little bit of fruity touch from um, the uh, black, not blackberry, raspberry. And then there's a little bit of a resinous ambery touch under there as well. And the whole combination makes for a great Long, you know, fragrance that lasts, uh, you know, has great longevity and also has great, uh, you know, cloud, the sillage, the trail, all of it come uh, with this particular fragrance. Although it has gotten a little weaker because of its reformulation, I still think it's still pretty potent and um, has those qualities still. So check it out. It's Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady, a great scent. Uh, that I've been a fan of for almost 10 years now. Uh, I wanted to do a quick segue into a couple of new t-shirt designs that I wanted to highlight as well. And there is a discount code on the channel uh, if you're curious to check out my merchandise, my t-shirts, lots of t-shirts with all different perfume themes. And this new one is really, really fun. It's basically perfume with the fume highlighted in red. I really love this one and I've got a couple made for me. I have long sleeve, short sleeve and everything. This is a long sleeve one. And this next one is uh, something that I had in a white tea design, but finally made a black tea design and I had to switch around the text of Galbanum. It's for uh, green Galbanum, as you can see here. It's a great design for anybody that appreciates botanical looking uh, designs and t-shirts or if you like galbanum as a note it's a great uh, uh, way to show your uh, love for this particular note it's a great note with green fragrances and stay tuned for a galbanum video very soon but if you're curious to discover those i have links in the info box and there is a 10 uh, percent off discount code uh, called uh, channel so you can use channel c-h-a-n-n-e-l to get those or any other other of my t-shirts for 10 percent off okay let's go to the next fragrance it's Nishane's Hachivat. Great lingering power with this one. And it's an overwhelming freshy. Uh, and once again, it's very dense for a freshy. Similar to this, it acts fresh, but it's thick, so it lasts a long time. And this one also has great, great lingering power. It's an overwhelming experience. Go easy on the trigger, but I love waking up in the morning and smelling this, not only on my clothes next to my bed, but me, you know, on me, uh, just kind of lingers on. And I like the combination of the oak moss and patchouli uh, and uh, also pineapple. And there are some green touches in there. And recently I was thinking about this fragrance. The reason I really like it is because there is an amped up amount of patchouli in this fragrance. Kind of why I like it. There's a lot of green touches along with that not so ripe pineapple and oak moss. A great scent. Nishane's Hachivat is an awesome release. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk to you about is from the house of Eta Libre Orange. This is Rien Intense Incense. Major uh, lingering power and also very animalic leather. Very, very masculine. But there is this kind of underlying uh, lightness about it coming from the aldehydes note. There's aldehydes in here. So it's leather, incense, aldehydes. Those are pretty much what's running the show. But a little goes a long way with this one. Uh, it's a more intense version of the original Rien in the clear bottle. This is the dark bottle, as you can see. But this one has, as I said, major lingering power. You need a little bit of it. Don't need a lot. The fact that it's also animalic, it might be too much if you overspray it, but spray a little bit and wake up the next day, you'll smell how great it is. It's a really, really long lasting animalic um, incense and leather combination that's uh, quite unique. But don't forget that aldehyde that comes in adds a unique uh, twist to the fragrance as well. To make for a really, really um, interestingly animalic uh, fragrance to wear. I have a video of this uh, on the channel. Go check it out if you are curious to find out more about it, um, especially the fact that it lingers on a long time. The next one I want to talk to you about is from the house of Maitre Parfumer at Gantier. This is Ombre Perso, one of the more intense uh, ambers, uh, and it's a very spicy amber, major spiciness in this one. 
Uh, lots of aromatic notes and spices together with resins and uh, balsams to create an amber. There's labdanum in here as well, so uh, the, int the experience is intense. And this has been around for a while, and this house has been around for a while. It was started by the guy who started L'Artisan Parfumer, he sold that company and then started this. And it used to be a glove maker, uh, Maitre Parfumé at Gantier, I think that's what it stands for. They don't do much with gloves now, it's mostly fragrances, and this is probably one of their more popular fragrances. So that's Ombre Perso from the house of Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. If you don't know it, do check it out. The next one that has the longest lingering power is um, Javoy's Psychedelique, uh, a fragrance that goes a, a long time, lasts a long time, and wake up smelling uh, how fantastic it is with its lingering power. It's all about patchouli here. So patchouli with lots of resins and vanilla. So you have an ambery experience, but it's an earthy, uh, woody uh, patchouli. And then you combine it with those resinous touches and it creates for like a chocolatey accord, perhaps a little bit of a chocolate booze accord. I get like a boozy chocolate cake uh, kind of an experience with this one, but very, very delicious. And it's for the patchouli lover, but man, it has great Great, great longevity and it wake up smelling such a very very sexy fragrance because when the fragrance lingers on it's at its end stages you know and that that end stages has this really really sexiness about it with this particular one especially the fact that it's all patchouli but combined with those resins and uh, vanillic notes uh, and the chocolatey touch that it creates is uh, fantastic. So that's Javoy, psychedelic. Psychedelic. If you don't know it, check it out. The next one with the longest lingering power is uh, Mancera's Red Tobacco. Man, so overwhelming. A little goes a long way with this one. It's a sweet, uh, spicy tobacco, ashy and also leafy tobacco combination. There's some light fruits in there, but very ambery and resinous. The experience is overwhelming. Probably. The biggest, um, most intense uh, Mancera fragrance for me, uh, and uh, really a little goes a long way with this one. Um, the lingering power with this one is so overwhelming um, that uh, a little goes a long way. As I said, little sprays you don't need a lot with this one, and then uh, forever it'll last a long time. And if you put it on clothes, even even more uh, longer lasting because it'll stay on there for a long time until you wash those clothes, as I said. So that's Red Tobacco. If you don't know that one, do check it out. It is really, really intense experience. The next one uh, is from the House of Parfums and Nikolai. This is Patchouli Intense. And this one actually has great, great uh, longevity and lingering power. But this one actually, it's not as beastly uh, of, of an experience, but the lingering power is even uh, uh, I mean, it matches beastly fragrances because, you know, I should take that back. It does have very, very beastly qualities, but it doesn't seem as thick as other beastly fragrances are. So that's why it doesn't kind of come off like it's going to be overwhelming, even though it is overwhelming, if that makes sense. But there's a green patchouli experience here. It's aromatic with geranium and lavender in here so the combination is very green like you're walking into a green forest but the uh the fragrance lingers on and the long longevity of this one is great as it's a lingering uh fragrance and once again if you spray this stuff on clothes even even better like the, the fragrance will be on there for a very very long time i love this one and i don't usually talk a lot about this one I'm gonna start digging uh, this brand uh, into this brand a little more soon, and I'll highlight them a little more. But if you like lingering fragrances, check out um, uh, Patchouli Intense from uh, Parfums de Nicolas, and that is completely different kind of a patchouli compared to the psychedelic uh, from Javoy. The next one I'm gonna to talk to you about is Parfums de Marley's Carlisle. This right here, and even though these two remind me of one another, I have a video on the channel, go check it out. They have their differences, and this to me, on its own, it kind of reminds me of Herod and Leighton together, you know? They, they kind of remind me, like it's, a, it's like a Herod and Leighton fusion. And again, it's a very, very long-lasting fragrance, and uh, it's great for what it is. Um, it's got woody notes, it's got some spices, there's some fruity touches under there. But as I said, it reminds me of a combo of Leighton and uh, Herod, and the lingering power is amazing with this one. The next day, you'll smell it on you, and even more with uh, when it's sprayed on your clothes. You know, sometimes it smells great when you take something that you don't wash and there's that smell. It's like when you're moving it around, you can smell it and ah, it's fantastic. That's what I like about this one. I think this is probably one of the most intense fragrances from this house. This is Carlisle from Parfums de Marly, a great scent. 
This next one is also very, very sexy lingering power, a long, longest lingering power, and it goes to the house of Guerlain. This is Bois Mysterio right here. Very, very sexy fragrance with leather, woods, resins uh, of myrrh. There's um, aromatic, spicy notes of uh, bay laurel, um, and there's some cumin or caraway in there. But wow, it's very, very sexy. Spray it on and it'll stay on you for a long time. I feel like this, even though it's at Guerlain, it's with Guerlain, it's like, it's like so different than everything else Guerlain has. The intensity of this doesn't match a lot of their other uh, fragrances, if that makes sense. But I love this. Not only because of the intensity, not only because of its sexiness, not only because of its long longevity and the lingering power, it's just a great, re great release, I think. So that's Guerlain's. Bois Mysterio. If you don't know it, do check it out. I highly recommend it. Alright, next going to the house of Louis Vuitton. It's Ombre Nomade, this one right here. And this one, recently I featured it in a video uh, where my dry cleaner uh, says my clothes smell great. And this is one of the fragrances that we discovered that she really likes. And this is actually a great woody woody, slightly fruity, resinous, uh, spicy uh, fragrance experience. A great scent from a designer once again. A little on the pricey side, maybe not a little, a lot. But a great, great lingering power with this one. Um, as a designer, I think even compared to um, Boss Mysterio, it doesn't have the uh, beastliness. It's beastly, but not like uh, beastly going to something like uh, you know, black oud or mancera red tobacco. It's a little more subdued, but still the lingering power with this one and the longevity is amazing. And you know, wake up the next day smelling this kind of like slightly spicy, fruity kind of a oudy uh, experience. But a great, great scent. I think the three fragrances from uh, Louis Vuitton in the dark bottles are amazing. I have not checked out the brand new one, Pure Oud or Per Oud or whatever it's called. Very, very pricey and I think it's an exclusive to the Middle East, but I still think this is a great scent. If you're looking for like a designer-esque uh, luxury Oud, I'd definitely check out this one because it has great, great uh, lingering power. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is from the house of Papillon Perfumery. This is Salome. Another sexy fragrance. I can put it in the same sort of ballpark as this one because of its spiciness of the cumin. It's here. This one to me is more of a Chypre fragrance and it has classic touches but the lingering power is amazing. A little goes a long way. You're wearing it and then you wake up the next day after you sleep. It's like that smell is still there. Very, very sexy. I like it because it has those classic touches in there. And then I love those classic touches because there's so many scent memories that come up that are, that are evoked by fragrances like this that, you know, kind of like um, uh, are inspired by classics and things like that that remind me of the classics. And I like those kind of scent memories. And uh, especially if I remember something that I smelled a long time, time ago, even better, you know. But there's really, really beautiful fragrance. It might be a turn off to some because the cumin is really, really strong. It's a little animalic. But boy, I think this is a great, great uh, fragrance. I think when I first smelled it though, it was a little overwhelming, but it grew on me so much that I really obsessed with the way it smells. That's Salome uh, from the house of Papillon uh, Perfumery for great uh, lingering power. The next one is from the house of Amouage. It's Interlude 53. Um, once again, um, this is uh, that combination of the oregano with the resinous darks, incense, and ambery touches. And the, the combination is so amazing. And here, in this particular version, it's even more intense than the original version. And the lingering power is really, really a very, very long lasting. It lingers on forever. And then you wake up the next day, you can still smell that green oregano contrasted with the incense the amber that's uh, running the show. A very, very sexy fragrance, but kind of a dark fragrance. Very, very kind of gothic and, uh, you know, like, the things like medieval things come to mind, like churches and the Renaissance and things like that. I don't know why. I think it's because of the, the darkness and the no light, electricity, and the churches and the incense, things like that. And then, of course, you've got oregano going to Italy with, uh, uh, I think it was it's consumed in uh, Italy, right? Uh, or maybe Greece or whatever. But that's kind of what it brings brings up those kind of visuals. But a great scent. If you don't know this one, check it out. Amouage Interlude 53. Very, very intense and very, very long lingering power. The next one's going to the house of Tiziana Terenzi. It's Ursa. And Ursa, once again, uh, I really love 
uh, as a fruity fragrance with patchouli, rum, uh, uh, it's fruits, the dried fruits, vanilla and leather, and I think the leather adds the lingering power here, but the combination of all those notes together lingers on, and that's what makes it very, very sexy, and really have, having a great lingering power, extra strength and things like that, uh, you know, the next day you wake up, um, you can still smell it on you. Of course, uh, also on your clothes. And that's what I like about fragrances sometimes, that remaining scent after the end of the day or the next day. What scent did it leave? behind, you know? What does it smell like? And uh, it smells fantastic. I love that about fragrances. If I can smell it the next day, that means it's an excellent, excellent fragrance. And I don't really get that a lot with designers these days, but definitely get them from the niche world. So this is Ursa from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. And the last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is a very dark fragrance from the house of Bortnikov. This is Sayat Nova. And Sayat Nova is a very dark and smoky, boozy, um, a fragrance with uh, oud, lots of oud in here, and it's the kind of notes that really linger on. Uh, I get a lot of kind of gourmandish fruitiness with booze, but lots of oud and smoke together. So it's like a smoky gourmand. I would also call it something like uh, an intense indie niche version of something like Jazz Club. I don't know if you guys know this one from Maison Margiela. They're not the same but kind of a similar theme, you know, fruits, booze, a little tobacco-ish smoke in here. Uh, again, not the same, but kind of in that ballpark. Uh, but lots of oud in this one. It's not an animalic oud, but there's uh, multiple kinds of ouds. I have a full review if you want to catch it um, on the channel. But great, great lingering power. Whatever notes are in here, linger on and stay on forever. The other thing you should war be warned about this one, how dark this juice is, don't ever spray it on white clothes or white pajamas before you go to bed, you know, kind of a thing. <laughs> because this is going to stain. Either way, though, this is a great, great lingering power power. Uh, this is Bortnikov's Sayat Nova. Uh, check it out if you don't know it. I do have a full review as I said. And those are the 20 fragrances that have the longest lingering power for me. There are others. I might do a part two of this video, but this is the first uh, batch of 20. Let me know what your favorite fragrances are in this list that I've uh, featured today. If you have a favorite fragrance that has major long lingering power, put a comment down and let me know what it is so I can find out. Other than that, guys, please do check out my new t-shirts. There's lots more designs. I'm highlighting these two. This is the green galbanum, as I said, and this is the perfume with the highlighted red uh, fume. Uh, it comes in multiple, they both come in multiple uh, sizes, designs. There's women's styles and there's also uh, men's styles and of course the long sleeves. Anyway, appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.